Salute to all my people. Y'all the like button if you haven't already. I tried to go live for y'all, man. It, it said like my audio and something was something with dealing with YouTube. So it was only up for like 30 seconds or it only let me stream for like maybe 30, 45 seconds. And it messed up my stream. Nevertheless, I just bring you guys the content to speak about, you know, uh, Will Smith uh, a little bit further. I see the P. Diddy sit there on good terms. To me, man, it's like, you know, I, you can't tell no man how to react. Like, like I told y'all, I thought it was fake, man. I thought it was staged. But as everything is continuing to go on, it seems as though they're saying it was really real. So, nevertheless, we're going to speak about it as if it was real. Now, you can't tell no man how to react, especially as pertaining to man's wife. If this is this man's wife, they've been together forever, how much disrespect could they take or how much disrespect could he take as a man? Because one thing we know over the last few years, Will Smith has been the laughing stock of the world as pertaining Jada Pinkett Smith and the things she said on the red table. It's not nobody else's fault, the things you, that your wife put out into the, to the public. But you see Chris Rock had a history of, you know, saying different things about Jada Pinkett and trying to make it a laughing joke. One thing I noticed about the situation when they showed the unedited version, you know, initially Will Smith laughed about it or he smiled about it. But then you can see Jada Pickett instantly had a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like before the camera got back to Chris Rock, Will Smith was already going up there to address the situation. Now, me, like I say, man, anytime you're talking about a man, a husband, um, dealing with his wife, they say our job is to protect and provide. You know, not provide and protect. Protect and provide. Key word, the first word being protect because you have to protect your children, your wife, your household. And Will Smith has been a guy that has been... You know, uh, married for a very long time now. Like I say, man, they show clips of him, you know, enjoying himself after the after event and after everything transpired. Yeah, this stuff a great day. This is a man. That, <laughs> this is a man that you know smacked Chris Rock. Went from smacking Chris Rock to win him an award, leaving an award to go party, get jiggy with it. <laughs> I mean, perform and get jiggy with it. Now, P Diddy came out and said that that uh, uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock is on good terms. He came out and said that you know uh, at the end of the day. Those dudes are brothers or friends or whatever the case may be. To me, that ain't no smack that, you know, look like, you know, you cool or whatever. Um, I did see that the police department reached out and said that they would do an investigation if Chris Rock wanted done. And he said he, they said he declined. Now, like I say, man, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You, man, listen, I believe that, you know, uh, things should be addressed exactly where the disrespect happens. So if you disrespect Will Smith and his wife or, or if the joke was a little bit distasteful to them, you know, uh, then maybe he felt as though he wanted to address it right then and there. As a man, like, you don't want to let things slip away. Maybe he could have did things behind the scene or whatever. But I guess he said, if you're going to disrespect my wife on national TV, I'm going to smack you on national TV. <laughs> oh, man, Will Smith got a W last night. I don't care what nobody say. And I heard Stephen A. Smith talking about, I'm, I'm going to get to Stephen A. Smith in a minute. Get back to P. Diddy. Now, P. Diddy talked about how, you know, uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock is all in good. They good. Everything is good with them two brothers and whatever else. I don't understand why everybody keep on talking about P. Diddy about, you know, the way a man feel about his wife or the situation that happened. But nevertheless, P. Diddy is all over the media talking about how Will Smith and Chris Rock is on good terms or, or they good or whatever the case may be. Like I always say, man, uh, this, this this man's wife, you know, Chris Rock, man, every time you get an opportunity, it seems, like, it seems as though you take jabs at Jada Pickett for whatever reason. I don't know what the history of those two is. But it seemed like Chris Rock loved to take jabs at, you know, Jada Pickett. But one thing I will say is to see that Will Smith handle it how he handled it. You know, uh, first of all, I side with Will Smith. If, if it's real, I side with Will Smith. Because I will say this, man. Anytime, you know, uh, they say that our woman is the most unprotected woman, and you and this is your wife, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to protect your wife, man. And sometimes if it get a little physical, it is what it is. But at the same time, I do wonder this. I'm going to say this, y'all. And, uh, and I mean this. I wonder if that was Jim Carrey or, or another white entertainer or, or comedian. Will Will Smith go up there and smack him? I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar. That Will Smith wanna jump on that stage and smack no white comedian, you know, if they disrespected his wife. Now, this goes to show you that, you know, we got selective who we want to put in a place. You know, at the same time, the people that really oppress us, the people that really, you know, do the most disrespect. We don't never jump on stage and smack them, but I can't depict what's real and what ain't, man. The only thing I know is, you know, if they saying it's real and it happened, one thing I will say is Will Smith smacked Chris Rock on stage for disrespecting his wife. One got an Oscar. Had the most powerful speech ever and then got off stage and went perform get jiggy with it. <laughs> That's 
that's a big W, man. I don't care what nobody said. That's a W for Will Smith, bro. At the end of the day, you men can't tell no man how to protect their wife because y'all don't even protect y'all wife. Y'all let these men disrespect y'all wife and y'all don't say nothing. Y'all more so worried about, you know, protecting another race of people, you know. So at the end of the day, if that's what that man felt like he, he does, you know, he wanted to do, I ain't gonna never knock no man for protecting his household, his children, his wife, and beyond. One thing I will say is I would like to see them do have that same energy for the white comedians, have the same energy for those that, you know, they, they throw the jabs at our community the same way, but I don't see nobody go up there and put their hands on them and smack them. But it's so easy to do it to ourselves because one thing they learn, you know, the black person, it's all about black on black. Everything is black on black violence, you know, black kill, black everything, you know, everything in between those lines. You know, we do it and, you know, we bring the violence on that high stage to be sitting at the, you know, a big award show where everybody's watching to see one black man smack another black man. When you really sit back and think about it from a different perspective, you know, that's what they want anyway. You know, that's what that's the way they want us to be depicted. That's the way they want our children to see the black man. You know, we can't even have a conversation. We can't even get along. You know, they want to see us do that. So this can be the conversation all over CNN and everywhere. It's looking how one black man smacked another black man. You know, that's, you know, it's so many words. And you know, one black man disrespected another black man's wife. And then that black man smacked another black man. And that's sit back and that's their entertainment. That's to pertain to us. You don't really see it in their communities the same way as they do us. Because one thing we know, we go at each other before we go at anybody else. Now, to spin it off of that to get to Stephen A. Smith. You know, I've seen Stephen A. Smith have some things to say about Will Smith. And he bashed Will Smith for what he did on the stage at the Oscars. Now, me personally, if I look at a guy like Stephen A. Smith, you can't tell nobody how to react, Stephen A. And if I'm not mistaken, Stephen A. Smith, you a guy that said that you never wanted to be married. You know, you said you committed to talking about other men. You committed to the sports analysts and speaking and traveling and doing what you do. No, not to you, bro. If you make it $10 million a year, then you earned your way. And, and I, I would like to believe that your judgment was good. Your judgment was good in the aspect of you was able to, you know, take the things you love to do, the things you love to speak about. You was able to take that and create a lot of money out of it. Just running your mouth and speaking about sports as many me and doing a barbershop and beyond you able to make a lot of money in doing so but but that's the field you in you ain't in the field of being mirrored you said you never wanted to be mirrored you know you selfishly want to be want to be about Stephen A. Smith you want to work on what you had to do in life the goals you want to accomplish so you never want to marry a woman so you'll never know what it takes to protect your wife you get what I'm saying Stephen A. I think it's certain conversations you just need to remove yourself from if you're supposed to be to a sports analyst why would you use your platform to bash his brother for protecting his wife? If they say the black woman is the most unprotected woman, right? If we just move everything to the side and we just talk about statistics and what it say about the way the black woman is so disrespecting the way our men don't protect our women. And you got a man that's protecting his wife. Why would you come out and bash him because you feel as though it wasn't the time and the place for that? Why? Because it's a white, it's a white award show. You know, you the, the, the things that you look at is, oh, my God. Like, how dare you disrespect those people award show? How dare you? You know, and so many words. Guy like Stephen A. Smith, man, you grind my gear, dog. Because you speaking about marriage. You speaking about a way a man is protecting his wife. The way a man say, if you're going to disrespect my wife right here, I'm going to address it right here. I can't knock no man for that. On a broader view, I can say, okay, I can get how it can be looked at in a, in a negative light. But I'm never going to bash a man for talking about or speaking up for or protecting his wife. You you bash the man because he protected his wife. No Smith did tonight was straight bullshit. Props and congratulations to him for winning the Oscar because, damn it, he deserved it. But, boy, was that a shameful act for him to commit tonight. To go up on stage and slap Chris Rock like that, he's lucky he didn't get his ass kicked. Particularly after the event was over. If not by Chris Rock, to the fellas he had there with him. I mean, damn. Now, again, in closing, for Stephen A. Smith, you're not a married man, homie. You said you never want to be married. So why are you speaking on married situations? One thing I know, if, I, if I'm if i not a part of the LGBT community, I can't go off in the LGBT community and tell people what they you wrong for messing with that. That's their business. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? If a man is a married man and I'm not a married man and never wanted to be married, how can I tell a man he wrong for protecting his wife or try to address him and depict him in ways because I feel like you shouldn't do this and who are you, homie? You ain't even married. If you had a wife, then maybe it'll make more sense to you. At the end of the day, that's all I got to say in those regards, man. Uh, you know, it's trendy everywhere. Everybody talking about Will Smith. I tried to go live for y'all, man. Um, at the end of the day, you know how YouTube, where I don't know, it says something about my audio, my connection, or whatever it was. And I could have put up another stream, but I was like, man, hey, y'all got it. I'll just make, I'll make a content for you guys right here. Y'all can comment below and let me know what y'all think about the topics. These were the topics I was going to speak about extensively. I was going to you know, talk about for maybe 30 minutes or so, but at the end of the day, we'll find us another live stream to get at either tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we'll speak about things other than that. Outside that, man, y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think.
Comment below and let me know what y'all think about, you know, P. Diddy, first of all, saying that, you know, um, Will Smith and Chris Rock seem to be good. One thing I will say is Chris Rock didn't press charges on him. I seen that it was an investigation or they said if Chris Rock wanted an investigation, that they would do so. But he came out and said that he didn't want one. He said that, you know, I guess for whatever reason, either he felt as though Will Smith was, had some justification or he felt as though he didn't want to go to police way about it. Now, I can't knock a man for that either. You know, uh, men should handle situations like men, you know, if he want to get his payback or whatever he want to do. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it ain't always about, you know, trying to put a man under jail or whatever else. I will say this, though. Boy, Will Smith, uh, you, you keep ready digging that pocketbook. <laughs> get ready digging that wallet. You know what I'm saying? Because you smack a man like that, you know, and if you mean it's really about the money, uh, I like to believe that he's going he gonna to get some money out your pocket. So maybe you did something behind the scenes that made him not press charges and you just going to pay him money behind the scenes or whatever else. But at the end of the day, it ain't no investigation needed. It's on camera. If that really is true. I don't know what the police talking about. They're investigating. It's on TV. So it's on camera. You see, you smack that man in front of center stage. What we investigate? You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, that's all I got to say about the situation. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about, you know, uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock supposedly being good. Do y'all think that Will Smith needs to, you know, dig in that, dig in that bank account, dig in that wallet, make sure Chris Rock is right? Because I'm going to tell you something. If Will Smith smacked me on the stage, dog, that mic, that mic would have been, it wouldn't have been no... Chris Rock, you a good man, bro, to continue on with your joke and continue. That's why I thought it was fake, y'all, because he acted as though nothing never ain't act like that man and just smack him in the Man, man, these dudes is better than me. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to go together. Hey, it's, it's, it's a crazy type of topic, but I'm going to watch y'all comments in the comment section below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about one, uh, them still being good. Do y'all think that Will Smith need to dig in his wallet and make sure that man is paid? Other than that, do you think that Stephen A is way out of pocket to talk about the way a man should protect his wife? Uh, and he's a man that said he never wanted to be married. So I don't really understand why he's inserting himself in this type of conversation. And you never want to be married. So how can you tell a man about how he should protect his wife? And you never wanted the wife. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we can grow together. Y'all comment below. 100.